Hey, what's up everybody? It's Cody DeQuisto here, and today we are gonna do a product breakdown on the new lightweight safety harness by XOP. So here we have XOP's new ultralight safety harness. So this is a really good option for a low profile, easy to use, lightweight tree stand harness uh, for all you running gun hunters out there. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got. Uh, your tree tether strap, lineman's belt, uh, instructions. It does have a suspension relief device pre-installed. Um, that is what you see here strapped up with the Velcro and that will be on your left lineman's loop. Okay, so we're going to quickly go through just a proper orientation and how to wear your harness and how to set it up. So when you get it out of the bag, um, a good way to know what front and back is uh, your XOP logo. You want that facing away from you. Go ahead and unbuckle the chest strap and now you can kind of see the shape. Uh, you have your shoulder straps, fully adjustable, and your leg loop. So we're going to go ahead and put this thing on now. Once you have the proper orientation of the, the harness, you're going to go ahead and put it on. So start with your shoulder straps. Go ahead and swing it around. First thing I like to do is buckle the sternum strap. Go ahead and snug this up. When adjusting your shoulder straps, you're going to want your main support right about your waistline. So this is actually pretty comfortable for me right now. I might snug this up just a little bit. You will notice um, this safety harness does not have a waist connection. It uses a chest support instead, so don't be alarmed if you don't feel like you have anything to buckle on the waist side of it. Uh, but once you get these adjusted, which I have them pretty good right there, uh, then just reach through your leg, find the tail end of the strap. Uh, once you get your end, go ahead and slide the ladder lock down. Give yourself a long tail there, and then you're going to take the metal loop, simply insert the ladder lock through the loop, then once your leg straps fully through the loop, you can reach down and simply pull it snug to the desired tension. Go ahead and repeat on the opposite side, insert through the opening, and you go ahead and snug this side down too. Now once you've finished adjusting your safety harness, now what you can go ahead and do is you can get rid of some of this extra tail strap. Um, just to minimize any sort of um, aggravation. So what I like to do is I'll leave myself about six inches, cut that with a scissors or knife, and then take a lighter and burn the end. Uh, that way you can have it nice and streamlined and you don't have anything flailing around. You can do that with the leg straps um, as well as the shoulder straps. Now the nice thing about the application of the ladder lock on your leg strap is it is very simple on and off once it's adjusted the first time. So you just simply loose it up a little bit and you can slide that buckle through uh, very quickly. And these buckles are extremely light and low profile. Uh, on your right hand side, attached to your lineman's belt loop, you will find a cluster of webbing that is held together by a Velcro strap. This right here is your suspension relief device and it's to be used in case of a fall. So should you fall in your tree stand and you can't make it back to the platform, um, you simply undo your Velcro, let your strap hang, and what you want to do is you're wanting to tie a knot that is high enough for you to put your leg in to relieve the tension of the harness on your body. So as you see here I kind of tied a knot to where I thought it might be just above my foot. That way you can reach up, put your foot in this, and then that pressure releases all the, the tension of the harness on your body. But this is to be used in emergency situations only and it can stay in the Velcro and stay by your side.